Uh, one of the main topics, uh, both in the conversation with the president, but also at the leaders' meeting in London, will be uh, burden sharing, defense uh, spending, and uh, allies are now stepping up, investing more, and uh, they will, uh, by the end of next year, have added more than 100 billion extra for defense spending uh, across Europe and uh, Canada. Uh, we also uh, discussed uh, the importance of uh, standing together in the fight against uh, international terrorism. Uh, all NATO allies are part of the global coalition uh, um, fighting ISIS and I congratulate the United States uh, on its uh, actions against uh, ISIS uh, leader al-Baghdadi and uh, this has been a milestone in the fight against uh, international terrorism. NATO is uh, strong and NATO has uh, implemented the biggest reinforcements of our collective defense uh, since the end of the Cold War. For the first time in our history we have uh, combat ready troops in the eastern part of the alliance in the Baltic countries and Poland. We have tripled the size of the NATO response force. We have modernized uh, the command structure and uh, not least uh, European allies and Canada are now investing more in defense uh, buying uh, modern equipment so the reality is that uh, NATO is actually stronger and uh, uh, more agile than we have been for many many uh, years. I think NATO has proven again and again that <coughs> despite differences we are able to unite around our core task and that is to protect and defend each other based on NATO's uh, uh, main message, one for all and all for one. And uh, I'm absolutely certain that we will be able to prove that also now. Any attempt to distance uh, Europe from North America will weaken uh, the transatlantic bond, but also divide Europe. So we have to stand together. That's the way to keep all our uh, nations and people safe. We have had that for, for many, many years. What but, role does President Trump play in those now? We, discussed of course the situation in North East Syria uh, and uh, there is no no secret that there are different views between NATO allies on that issue. At the same time we are uh, united and we all agree uh, on the importance of uh, uh, maintaining uh, the achievements we have made in the fight against our common enemy uh, uh, ISIS, that we have to support efforts of trying to find a political solution to the crisis uh, and the uh, violence in Northern Syria and we also uh, all have to recognize that Turkey uh, is the ally which has suffered the most terrorist attacks and hosts uh, 3.6 million uh, refugees from uh, Syria. Um, so yes, there are different views when it comes to Turkey's role in northern Syria, but at the same time uh, Turkey is a valued ally and plays an important role in our uh, efforts uh, to uh, fight international terrorism. When it comes to the S-400, uh, uh, that is an issue which uh, is, um, uh, of course, uh, uh, creating um, uh, discussions within the alliance and the United States has clearly stated that uh, they think that this is totally or incompatible with uh, having F-35s. So therefore I welcome that there are talks between the United States and uh, Turkey related to whether they can deliver all the systems, including Patriots. <laughs>